Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Disney's The Lone Ranger Tonto. I'm trying desperately to get my hands on a Lone Ranger figure, but my Toys R Us is sold out. No other toy stores in town sell these figures and um, he's like 30 bucks on eBay and even Amazon is sold out. I'm not sure what the, uh, what the run was on Lone Ranger figures, but I'm going to track one down and I'm going to have one soon to review. Um, but we're going to start off with this. It, this is January 2014, and I'm just now reviewing this figure, and that's because I just saw the, f the film about a week ago. Um, didn't get a chance to see it over the summer, and then all of my friends, all the reviews said it was horrible, it was a terrible movie, it was um, sluggish, and you know, um, it was a little slow, but the action was fantastic, and that's all due to Gore Verbinski. I, I, I still trust in him as a filmmaker. Um, I also was a little reluctant to see it because everybody kept saying, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, ah, uh, you know, whatever. Even my wife is a little over Johnny Depp at this point. Um, but I have to say, we just saw it, and it really wasn't that bad of a film. I actually kind of liked it. Um, so as soon as the movie was over, I was like, okay, I got to get these NECA figures. Um, I really wanted to get my hands on Lone Ranger first, but didn't get that chance. So got the uh, got old Tonto here, and he's actually not a bad figure. He's not a bad character in the film either. Very underplayed, not overplayed, not very flamboyant at all, and that's what I was worried about. Um, you can see he doesn't come with a whole lot. He does come with his um, throwing tomahawk axe here and a little knife, both of which he uses in the film. And um, look at this boring back. Nothing. No cross cell. No write up. No nothing. Just a picture of the figure that's larger than the figure itself. Well. Maybe actual size. No, nope, a little larger than it should be. Pretty boring figure. And here on the front, an actual picture of Johnny Depp as Tonto as opposed to the actual figure itself. I know it's kind of weird not having a picture of the figure when you got the figure here, but that's kind of odd. Anyway, so uh, let's get this guy cracked open and take a closer look at this figure. Okay, here we have the figure open up out of the package, and I gotta tell you, it's a very, very sturdy figure. Um, all the joints are very nice and tight, um, right out of the package. Um, and, and I like that. It's not a flimsy figure. I, there's nothing more I hate than opening up a figure and you, you know, loose joints, figures flailing all over the place. You have a very, very nice head sculpt, nice range of motion, as a matter of fact, um, even with all this hair and um, beads and feathers and stuff flopping around because everything is a very, very soft plastic and doesn't hinder movement at all all very nice very iconic headdress um, based on the painting that they used um, to base the makeup on so it's very kind of very very cool um, going over the articulation you do have like a pin socket at the um, upper shoulder and uh, just a standard is it a standard no got a pin socket at the um, at the elbow and uh, the hands on a um, sort of a ball joint um, so very nice range of motion um, there uh, very stoic face on Johnny Depp there. That's hilarious. Um, you can see he wields both the um, the knife and the tomahawk. I think in either hand. I don't think it really matters. Um, got a nice kind of um, you know no ab crunch. That's a that's one solid big chunk of plastic right there. Um, um, but a nice nice um, ball joint at the waist. Um, lifting this up, you can see that. And these legs are really hard to move. You've got a nice. Wow, look at that. Very nice range of motion on the huge ball joint at the upper thigh. And man, I almost feel like I'm going to break this figure trying to bend the knee joint. But uh, that, the paint is really tight in there. But that's a very tight joint. I love how the, um, the pants leg actually hangs down over the knee enough to sort of hide that joint. Uh, I think the articulation on this figure is pretty fantastic. And um, nice um, rocker ball jointed ankle. Um, that, that the joint is just hidden so well. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, looking at this guy, this the detailing is is spot on. I can't wait to zoom in and take a closer look. But uh, going over the articulation, it just it's really, really good. This is actually a very well made figure. If you have any hesitations about picking up this figure, or getting into this line, do not. Um, because this guy is is pretty great. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at all this fine detail on this figure. Okay, so we've zoomed in here on uh, the figure's face. And man, you can really see Johnny Depp in there an awful lot. You really can see the dirty, caked on, cracked, really dry face paint um, on there. They did a great job of uh, recreating that look from the film uh, in this figure. You can see all the beadwork and feather work that's done in his hair and how soft and pliable that is. Um, 
nice detail on the uh, on his spirit animal on the top of his head. I mean, it's a crow. What do you expect? Um, looks awesome. Some very nice work um, on the. I'll pull his hair back out of the way on the bead, the bead work on the, his neck um, piece here. It just looks absolutely nice. The, the tiny little paint details just really, really make make that piece stand out. You can see there is some um, leather work done on his arm and then what appears to be tattoos up and down his arm with the paint work. I thought it was just dirt or mud mud when I first saw the reviews of these figures before seeing the movie. But yeah, it's the, the tattoo work uh, and scarring uh, and tribal stuff that's all over his arms. You can see nice bracelet work uh, on this on this wrist here. And looking at that belt, you can see all that fine detail. There's the sheath that you can put the knife in and it actually works. Holds right there on his belt. And if you can see this belt here looks like a um, looks like a western like a cowboy belt and if you turn the figure around um, you can see that indeed it actually is a cowboy's belt um, that he has like taken and and put on but he he wears it backwards this is a small detail I never even noticed it in the film um, but uh, I see it on the figure and it's quite nice uh, you can see the rest of his dressing here um, moving this out of the way you can see his his holster or not his holster but um, his pouch here um, for carrying things looks very nice you can see the chains even been painted um, just overall this figure is pretty fantastic you can see all the detail made into the um, the little strips that hang off um, his pants the leather pants and then his leather wraps around his feet so I don't know if those are in, indeed moccasins or not but um, the leather wraps look really nice all around what a fantastic, fantastically crafted figure. I just can't say the word fantastic enough when talking about this guy. He's he's pretty awesome. So, um, you know, there's not a whole lot, you know, else to say about this guy. He's pretty fantastic. I'm, uh, I'm definitely glad that I got him, and I can't wait to um, get um, the Lone Ranger to add to my collection with him because uh, having a really good cowboy and Indian figure in my collection looks pretty awesome and i know indians the wrong way to say that it should be native american but um comanche warrior he looks pretty awesome i i really 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 dig this guy and since i don't have any uh, pirates of the caribbean figures it's nice to have a, a pretty cool johnny depp figure in my collection as well so um wave two uh of, the, of these figures is already out you can pick them up at bigbadtoystore.com or on amazon um they're both out they're basically the exact same figures except for the lone ranger has his mask off and tonto comes with the birdcage in the scene whenever he puts the birdcage on his head if you haven't seen the film you don't know what i'm talking about but it's pretty funny um so that that's going to about do it for this review. If you dug it, please like, comment, or subscribe. And be sure to check out all the new toy reviews right here on YouTube.com slash ungrownups. So until next time, peace.